guys, so today we're going to talk about blackheads. Now I know that all my blackhead videos get a ton of views and hits and you guys always want to know more about them, so we're doing it via Draw My Life. So what are blackheads? They're the little black dots that will not go away. And the scientific term for them is called comedones. So we're going to draw out a healthy hair follicle. Next to the hair shaft is the sebaceous gland and around it is the sebaceous duct. The sebaceous gland creates sebum which gives skin and hair their natural oils that are necessary. However, the sebaceous duct sometimes excretes too much sebum which causes the pore to be clogged by a combination of dead skin cells and sebum which continue to accumulate under the skin. Keratin skin debris often combines with oil to block the follicle. If the pore becomes blocked, bacteria begins to accumulate. If buildup of bacteria and sebum is not exposed to air, it is called a whitehead. Blackhead forms if the pore is open at the surface allowing air to enter. Sebum also contains melanin, a pigment. Melanin is the same substance that gives skin its color. So melanin turns dark when exposed to air, this is called oxidizing, and that is why blackheads are dark. The dark color does not mean they are dirty, and scrubbing does not remove them. Blackheads form before bacteria invade the pores. A blackhead can develop into a pimple, which is also known as a papule or pustule, when bacteria does invade the pore. The bacteria that cause pimples are called Propionibacterium acnes. Blackheads tend to form after puberty begins when hormones are going awry. At this point, hormones overstimulate the sebaceous gland resulting in overproduction of sebum and blockage of pores. These spikes in hormone production result in high levels of a hormone called DHT, dihydrotestosterone, which triggers overactivity in the oil glands resulting in clogged pores. Solutions. Look for these ingredients in acne products that loosen dead skin cells. Dead skin cells are called karyotolytics. So let's look for these ingredients in face washes. For salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and benzoyl peroxide. You can also try blackhead extraction, which is a video that I done long, long time ago, but we're going to update that video very soon and show you how to do it the right way. Hormonal treatments, so women, they can take birth control. Avoid pore strips. I don't know if you've guys seen my latest video on pore strips, but basically they can tear the skin um, and they only remove the top of the blackhead. So sometimes they can cause holes in your nose. Um, they are only a temporary fix of getting the pores out, but in the future they will come to haunt you. You might see them in your sleep or, you know, these old blackhead ghosts coming at you. So. There's also medications that you can use or ingredients that you can use in them. One is called Adapalene, which is found in products such as Retin-A, Tretinoid, Differin, and Tazerac. 
It's a third generation topical retinoid used mainly in the treatment of mild to moderate acne. Many patients with blackheads have had good results. Um, these products help get rid of dead skin cells and therefore eliminate blockages in the pores. But you need to get a prescription to get those products. And also, don't pick at your skin no matter how tempting or fun it is. It is just not good and that will come to haunt you as well. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and read in the description box because there may be a secret giveaway or there may not. But I will talk to you guys later. Bye!